Are you ready for the truth about what might be lurking on the floor of your home? Hey doctors, I have the worst allergies in the world. <laughs> Anything you can think of, I'm allergic to. Smoke, pollen, dust, pet dander, pollution, anything you can imagine. Now I've tried all kinds of decongestants, nasal sprays, and I still wake up stuffed, clogged, and sneezing profusely. Does carpeting make your allergies worse? Or would it be better off with bare floors like this? Well, to help us face the reality about our floors, we welcome home improvement guru and the host of Annie's Hideous Houses, Eric Stromer. Thank you. Thank you. Always good to have you. And we're going to jump right in and tell you that, in general, for people with allergies, with allergic asthma, it's better to go naked when it comes to your flooring. But it's really not that simple. Because when you're talking about what's healthier for you, when it comes to allergies, we know with, with naked floors, it's easier to get rid of all those allergies. Right. But you're going to talk about a lot of issues we may not, never even consider. Right. When you change out a floor and maybe take the carpet out, you can switch to some different kinds of flooring like these. Uh, but you have to consider there's going to be some budgetary constraints. So if you pull a, f a carpet up and you're lucky enough to find hardwood floor, you jump up and down <laughs> and you go, oh, thank you, you know. But yeah. if not, you got to spend a little bit of money to put stuff like this down. So for example, this first one here is cork. And this is a nice alternative to just a hard plywood surface because it's a little bit softer. It's great for soundproofing, relatively easy to install with some adhesive. Number two, this is a bamboo floor. This is great stuff, too, because it's a sustainable product, obviously. Bamboo grows like a weed, so you're not cutting down old growth trees. You're doing the uh, good for the planet, and it's also beautiful. It's a hard surface, very easy to keep clean, and the installation costs on these are, are pretty inexpensive when you consider that you're really going to take care of the inner air quality of your house. Right. And then a third option, if you do want to stay with carpet, is this low pile carpet, and this has backing on it that is really kind of great because it doesn't have the traditional binders that old carpeting has. Do you know that smell that occurs when you go into a condominium or a house that you've just purchased and that it, it has that almost like a, a dry cleaning smell? That's the VOC that's emitting from these products. So you want to make sure you don't have that in your home. But that's a good option because you can vacuum it easily. Very, very easy to keep clean. So Eric, if, you, if you're stuck and you, yeah. you know, move into a place which has wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and you're stuck with that carpet, what should you do? How should you keep that clean? If you, if you have a rental property or you just don't want to spend the money at that time, it might be worth a great investment in terms of buying a great vacuum cleaner that has a HEPA filter. And what that does is it takes out the bigger dust particulates or the dust mites that will cause irritation in the lungs. And you guys could obviously speak to that from a medical perspective. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure that there's filtration. So you can do a couple of things. You can vacuum often, but make sure you always change out that bag in the vacuum cleaner. Don't just keep going. You know, like, like my kid does. I'm vacuuming, you know, you just see dust just going everywhere. That's making you know, it's things worse. Making it worse, right? You want to always change those bags out and follow the recommendation of the manufacturer, right? Also, steam cleaning is a great option. You know, if you want to continue to, to wash that carpet, essentially, with nice water and filtration, you can kind of keep that area clean, especially mm -hmm. if you have cats or dogs or pets that have hair. And Dr. Shears, parents, if your children suffer from allergies or asthma, mm -hmm. and you notice that every time your child is at home, yep. they're struggling breathing, what is asthma? It's inflammation of the airways. And it could be the pet dander, the dust mites, cockroaches, all these things. You need to make some adjustments. You've got to literally take a look in your house, whether it's the yeah. carpeting, your air filter, you got to work on that. Yeah, especially in the bedroom, because that's where your child is going to spend a lot of their time. I'm always telling parents with kids with allergies or asthma, you know, it's get, just get rid of the carpet in the bedroom at least, get rid of those stuffed animals, anything that harbors dust easily right. like that. Yeah. Just, but if you do have carpets and these other things, you actually have uh, something our audience might yes, like. Yes, I am absolutely thrilled to say to you folks that every single person in this audience today is going to receive an amazing cleaner, that's right. <laughs> it's the Hoover Max Extract Pressure Pro Carpet Deep Cleaner. So oh, yeah. I will come to every one of your houses, and if your house isn't clean and immaculate, I will beat you with a rubber hose. <laughs> <laughs>